Hello, my name is Elspeth Ward and I'm the area manager for Trust Housing and I am managing the project at Duns. Duns is going to be a 30 uh, flats project for extra care housing and it will be a mixture of one and two bedroom properties. How did Duns happen? Duns came about um, due to a working relationship that Trust has with Scottish Borders Council. They commissioned the service in Duns as it was identified as it, it, it was a need in the area. We currently have a project that we run in uh, Gala Shields, which is Cornwall Court, which provides um, care housing as well. And we've worked with uh, Scottish Borders Council for the last seven years providing care, and it has been exceptionally successful. So what is extra care housing? Extra care housing is a holistic service for tenants, which has a high degree of flexibility in the way that care and support is delivered. It offers continuity to tenants because it is an on-site staff team. The experience has proven that this approach to providing housing within the care um, has an impact on discharges from hospital, hence it speeds them up. And we're also able to provide care for people who have complex care needs. So if you moved into a property in Duns, what would you receive? You would have your own tenancy, which is your own property. You would have either have a one or two bedroom property, a sitting room, uh, a kitchen, um, a wet room for easy access. And this is your property and your home you would be the one who allows people to visit you in your own home. That would be you allow staff to come to your home to provide care. You can have family visits. You can also have friends. You will be in receipt of two meals a day. This will be a light meal and a main meal. Um, all dietary needs will be catered for um, by on-site cooks and catering staff. Um, Normally we would have a communal dining area and we would serve the meals in the communal area. However, due to COVID at present, we are having to deliver meals in the property as the dining room is closed um, until, we be, until we get through the COVID um, pandemic at the moment. We also will have a communal uh, lounge area where tenants can mix and socialise and we will have activities. We will work very closely to include the local community. Um, unfortunately, again, due to COVID, this will be closed um, when we initially open Duns. But our hope is that that will not take too long and we will have it open and start activities in the service. The care is delivered by on-site care staff team who will be able to respond to emergencies and hopefully reduce the need for hospital admissions. People with complex care needs can be cared for on site by care staff who will work in partnership with district nursing services, GPs, palliative care nurseries, nurseries nurses and any other specialist providers. People will be supported to live in their own home as long as reasonably practical and remain part of the local community. Our aim is to improve the quality of life for you should you choose to live in a new service in Duns. Um, so if you're interested in this service, please contact your local social worker or your local social services department.